Are you dreaming of retiring in paradise but can't decide between Thailand and the Philippines? I'm Tom, and I'll help you navigate through the languages, where to relax on the best beaches, and indulge in the tastiest cuisines. Join me as we discover which country will make your retirement or holiday not just comfortable but truly memorable. Let's start this journey with the essentials. Language, beaches, and of course, food. Now we all know that communication is key, especially when you're living abroad. So which country will make you feel right at home? I don't want to drag this category too long, but verdict, the winner is the Philippines. The Philippines takes the cake in this category, and it's no surprise really. English is one of their national languages, which means you'll have an easier time communicating in your day-to-day -day life. My verdict, I too will side with the Philippines in this category. Now don't get me wrong, Thailand isn't entirely lost in translation. You'll find plenty of English speakers in popular tourist hotspots, and many locals and business catering to tourists in these areas have a decent to good command of the language. If you're planning to stick around in touristy areas and don't speak Thai, you'll be just fine. But still, the Philippines is the undisputed champion of this round thanks to its widespread English proficiency. Now that we've tackled the language barrier, it's time to hit the beach. Our next category is beaches and islands, so which country will make you feel like you're living on a tropical postcard? You might be surprised by this one, but the Philippines actually takes the win again. With over 7,000 islands to choose from, you might need to extend that vacation or retirement to a lifetime to explore them all. Of course, not all of these islands are accessible or suitable for living. Many lack infrastructure like hospitals, hotels, electricity, or running water. However, over in Thailand is no slouch when it comes to breathtaking beaches and peaceful islands. You'll still find plenty of picture-perfect getaways to soak up the sun and relax. Verdict. The Philippines is the winner in this category for its incredible abundance of beaches and islands. However, keep in mind that Thailand still has plenty to offer for those seeking sun, sand, fun, and tan. If you're nodding in agreement, hit that like button and let's keep this comparison going. My verdict. As for me, I like the fact that the infrastructure is set up and it is not hard to travel to many of Thailand's best beaches. I'm not the adventure type anymore. Traveling to really remote places just to see nice beaches is no longer for me. But hey, who needs thousands of beaches when you've got quality over quantity, right? So I go with Thailand. I prefer conveniences, amenities, internet connection over quantity. We have explored the beaches and islands, but now it's time to dig into something truly mouth-watering. Food. It's Thai food versus Filipino food in a culinary showdown that'll leave your taste buds tingling. I just know from experience, food, accommodation, medical care, and hospitals all go to Thailand. But hey, I'm not here to spoon feed you my opinions. I have the cold hard facts. Now judging food can be tricky because it's so subjective. So I thought, why not ask the experts from the food world? Enter Asia's 50 Best Restaurants, a prestigious list made by a media firm with roots in the UK, US, France, and Singapore. They've been dishing out this list since 2013, polling around 300 restaurant professionals across Asia to choose the top restaurants. Between 2013 and 2020, Thailand cooked up a whopping 51 restaurants on the list, while the Philippines only managed to plate four. And get this, a Bangkok-based restaurant snagged first prize for four years in a row. We're talking top-notch, even outshining Japanese, Taiwanese, Singaporean, Vietnamese, and Filipino cuisine. Sure, some might argue that not all the Thailand-based restaurants given the award serve traditional Thai food. That's true, the four-time winner was an Indian restaurant, but it called Bangkok its home. Plus, dozens of other Thai or Thai fusion restaurants made the cut on the list. Verdict. So it looks like Thailand takes the cake or curry when it comes to food. Give Thai food a thumbs up if you agree. My verdict. I grew up eating all sorts of Thai and Isan food. While Philippine food does have more of an American influence on them, but this is an easy pick for me. Thai food. Thai dishes have this way of making my taste buds dance. I mean, there's a reason why it's earned such high praise from culinary experts worldwide, right? Having satisfied our cravings with Thai food, let's move on and focus on finding that perfect home. Let's explore the ins and outs of the cost of living and accommodation. Which place is more expensive or more affordable? 
I found some stats and data to help us compare the cost of living and accommodation in Thailand and the Philippines. Let's take a look at the numbers from Numbio, a well-known cost of living website and a popular cost of living calculator for expats. According to Numbio, at the time of this upload, the cost of living in the Philippines is around 10% lower than in Thailand. Rent prices are approximately 30% higher in Thailand than in the Philippines. Expats say that the cost of living in Bangkok is 14% more expensive than in Manila, the Philippines. Think of it like this. Thailand is like a spicy pad thai where you get more flavor for your buck, but you may end up paying a bit more for that prime seat at the restaurant. The Philippines, on the other hand, is like a delicious halo halo desert where the rent is as sweet as the dessert, but the overall cost of living might leave you craving for more. Verdict. And the winner is, well, it really depends on your priorities and personal preferences. Are you ready to spend a little more for that fancy Thai condo with a view, or would you prefer a budget-friendly Filipino apartment that leaves you with more money to explore the beautiful islands? The choice is yours, so it really is a Thai. My verdict. I've experienced it all from charming Thai-style homes and budget-friendly condos to luxurious hotels that'll make you feel like a rock star without the rock star budget. Now about the cost of living, just venture outside the city and an affordable lifestyle there waiting for you. I choose Thailand as the winner. It's not just the affordable Thai food or the culture that has me hooked and the ease of finding that perfect home. Now that we've settled into our dreamy Thai condo and budget-friendly Filipino apartment, it's time for a health check. It's time to get into the so important topic of healthcare. Thailand offers two types of hospitals, government-run, aka universal hospitals, and international or private hospitals. The government-run hospitals cater to everyone, including foreigners, though visitors may have to pay a tad more. While not all but some government-run hospitals might look like third-world hospitals, but rest assured that private and international hospitals are often on par with their Western counterparts, with cutting-edge medical technology and English-speaking doctors over to the Philippines. To be honest, I'm not exactly sure how their hospital system is structured, but let's just say it's a bit of a mystery. However, we do know that a Spanish research firm compiled a list of the top 100 hospitals in Southeast Asia, and Thailand had 44 entries, while the Philippines had just four. Thailand has over 10 times the number of top hospitals in Southeast Asia compared to the Philippines. Sure, the Philippines has St. Luke's Hospital, a world-class hospital in Manila, but Thailand has 44 world-class hospitals. Thailand doesn't just have top-notch hospitals, they also offer great dental care. Many Thai doctors and dentists have degrees and certifications from the US, Europe, Australia, and other English-speaking countries, meaning they can speak with you in English. According to Numbio.com in 2023, Thailand's Healthcare Care Index is 77.9, while the Healthcare X Index is 137.81. This indicates that healthcare in Thailand is not only highly rated, but also relatively affordable. Thailand's healthcare system is known for its quality and efficiency, which is reflected in these numbers. By the way, on this chart, it says Thailand is ranked seventh higher than Canada. So I'm not so sure how trusty is this website, but it's mainly based on travelers and expats opinions and not the experts. So far, the opinions by travelers and expats are positive for Thailand's hospitals and healthcare services. Over to the Philippines, it has a healthcare index of 67.8 and a healthcare exp index of 121.4. Although healthcare in the Philippines is generally more affordable than in Thailand, it doesn't quite match Thailand's quality and efficiency. Of course, no system is perfect. You'll find stories of misdiagnoses and incorrect medications, just like anywhere else in the world. But when it comes to medical tourism, Thailand often takes the spotlight over the Philippines. Verdict. So in the epic battle of hospital and medical care, Thailand comes out as the winner. My verdict. I also go with Thailand for its hospitals and dental care, hands down. It's also easier to have access to multiple type of hospitals in Thailand, whereas the Philippines is broken up in different islands, making harder and longer to get the medical care you want. Healthcare, check. Now let's talk about something that makes our everyday lives just a little bit more convenient, or sometimes annoying, 
infrastructure, internet, and television. In the Philippines, you'll find a great number of English TV channels, thanks to the country's fluency in the language. You can catch all your favorite American shows, from National Geographic to MTV. Thailand also offers English channels, but you might need to pay extra for a TV package, especially outside major cities. So, in the TV department, the Philippines snatches the trophy. But remember, Thailand isn't far behind with a few extra bucks. Now let's talk internet. Let's just say, Thailand's internet speed ranges from meh to whoa, that's fast. In the Philippines, however, the internet can be a bit of a hit or miss, with the many islands causing a challenge to connectivity. In 2023, Thailand is ranked 6th in fixed broadband connection with an average speed of 203 megabytes per second. That's 4x faster than my last job working in the office in the financial sector of Toronto, Canada. That is pretty impressive if you ask me. However, mobile connection is currently ranked 53rd in the world with an average speed of 40 megabytes per second. Over in the Philippines is ranked 40th in fixed broadband connection with an average speed of 90 megabytes per second. Mobile connection is currently ranked 79th in the world with an average speed of 24 megabytes per second. In the great internet speed race, Thailand takes the gold. Lastly, infrastructure. According to Statista.com and the World Bank, Thailand scores higher in infrastructure ratings than the Philippines. Need some visual proof? Just compare the international airports in Bangkok and Manila. Thailand soars high in this category too. Here are the total reviews by travelers on Google. Verdict. So in the great showdown of infrastructure, internet, and TV, Thailand takes the cake. Although the Philippines does have a slight edge in the TV department. My verdict. To me, the infrastructure and internet goes to Thailand. I work online and I need good internet speed. As for the Philippines, I find that I need a couple of backups for internet, and sometimes it can be very frustrating. Unreliable internet was one of the main reasons I had to leave the Philippines on my last trip. Perhaps Elon Musk can change that in the country once Starlink is available. But for now, I pick Thailand in this category by a large margin. We've explored the essentials that make Thailand and the Philippines top contenders for your dream retirement or your next travel destination, from cost-effective living and dreamy accommodations to the state-of-the-art healthcare and robust digital infrastructures. But there's more to uncover. Are you ready to get deeper into what truly shapes the daily lives and safety in these exotic locations? What about the ease of staying long-term, or even permanently? And let's not forget, the romance. In our next video, We'll tackle the critical issues of crime and safety, and the rich tapestry of people and culture. Plus, we'll explore the visa policies that could make or break your dream of an extended stay, and not to forget the romantic possibilities that await you in both countries. Don't miss out on these deeper insights. Click on the top right corner to continue this fascinating comparison in our next video. Let's discover together which destination could become your new home away from home. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe for more updates, and click the bell icon to stay notified about new videos. Happy travels!